And the first person I saw this morning was Tony Cascarino, <laughs> who was working hard on Christmas Day with his thoughts in the Times this morning and speaking about Newcastle. Cass says Newcastle will definitely make the top four. Um, but Eddie Howe disagrees with you because in the Telegraph sport, Howe tells Newcastle fans to start dreaming of the title. Oh, um, I'll read this from Jack Rosser in The Sun this morning. He says Man City might not be the only ones that Arsenal have to worry about threatening their top spot that is certainly the case if you listen to Newcastle fans who spent their boxing day singing about their mighty magpies lifting the title it may be a Christmas wish too many but on the evidence of this stumping victory over Leicester you cannot deny them the dream in this most bizarre of seasons as Eddie Howe's side move above the champions into second spot and just one more for you Craig Hope in the mail says they're the home of the greatest footballing fairy tales of recent times. <laughs> Newcastle sprinkled a little more stardust on a season that has support to singing about winning the Premier League. Um, Nat Cass says top four, definite. Eddie Howe was saying, dream, sing about winning the title. <laughs> Come on, we're nearly in 2023. Realistically, what can this Newcastle team achieve this season? Well, I, at the start of the season, I thought maybe top six. I didn't necessarily expect top four, or certainly not to the length that they are at right now. I thought they would compete. I thought they'd mm. cause problems for teams in the top four. Did I think they'd be second right now? Definitely not. That's not to say that's because I completely dismissed what they achieved last season. I just thought they needed more building time. But wow, they have really, really taken to this season. And Do I think they'll finish top four? I think they could definitely realistically finish top four. I don't know if they can win the title, but that's only because, like we said before... Mm. Arsenal going so well why why are we discounting Arsenal you know it's all still talk about Manchester City but the only reason we're discounting Arsenal is because it's Arsenal so maybe I'm only discounting it's Newcastle because it's Newcastle but I think for Newcastle to win the title they've obviously got to overtake Arsenal and and that's a big Mm. big question to ask of them at the moment because they have uh, what seven point advantage having played also Newcastle a game more than them um, but there's still so many twists and turns to come which is going to be really really mm. fascinating I did not see that being a 3-0 win for Newcastle because mm. I thought Leicester having finished the first part of the season really strongly they had the best defence as well they'd only conceded mm. three and I think the last eight as well so to concede another three in their first game back is a big blow to Leicester no doubt well it, you're looking at the chasing teams behind them and if you think of Chelsea which have, have, have got a big gap behind they've got a couple of games but they've still got what 12 points behind Newcastle you know and Man United are seven points behind got two games in hand so they've got you know obviously got to win them Liverpool have got one game in hand over them but are eight points behind Newcastle so that's a big yeah. mm. you know it's a decent gap they go Leeds at home next and then go mm. Arsenal away so they're you know but they're very capable of beating game. They're very capable of beating Leeds at St James's Park, which mm. will be a rocking atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, the game at Arsenal is, you think, well, that's a real toughie. But everything they've done so far, <laughs> they've been exceptional. Best defence in the Premier League. Um, you mentioned him in your in your piece, Miguel Almiron, talking about that's him ridiculous, being able to, to create moments of magic. I mean, is that one of the best stories in recent times in the Premier League? Sort of a player that, you know, was, what, incredibly inconsistent, was, of course... You know, mocked as a joke by 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 a high profile footballer in the summer, and he can't mm. stop scoring. Cas can he? He's been one of the best players in the Premier League this season. Well, what do you think we'd be saying if this was his first season in English? Football? He's going to get an eighty million pound move to, to to Man City next summer, maybe. Well, I don't know. He's been everything about him has been obviously the confidence, like he got for his goal yesterday. Mm. Cuts inside, great touch. Get, receives the pass, takes it brilliantly. He's done that all season. I mean, Eddie has probably pinching himself and thinking. Oh, can't yeah, believe how yeah. well he's playing. You know, just let him play. That's what well, he's that's doing. kind of feel. That's what it feels like. It is just I'm letting you have a free roll. Do what you want because we know the damage you can do, and that it's paying dividends right now. Nine goals in the Premier League, top scorer for Newcastle. Um, he just, I find it absolutely fascinating the rejuvenation of some players at Newcastle. Joe Linton in midfield, exactly. Yeah. Joe Linton, Almiron, two players that actually maybe. If they'd moved on, we'd have gone, well, that's fair enough because they didn't really get going at Newcastle. But, wow, those two players now are vitally important for them. And also as well, you think for the majority of this season, arguably two of their best players 
Isak up front mm. and Sir Maximam haven't played much football. No, so they've still no. got them to come back into the team cast, which will only strengthen them. Yeah, absolutely. But, but everybody's playing well. It's a bit like Arsenal at the moment. They're flying because everybody's chipping in with great yeah. performances. And if someone isn't as good, someone else is playing even better. You know, I, I'm i shocked by what I've seen, um, certainly from Newcastle. Almon, I've always liked his, his hunger and desire to chase back and work hard for the team. He's always done that. But what he's never had is a goal tally. This season he has, and he now looks, a, you know, literally a superstar in football. It's it's incredible. It really is. And uh, Everton, Everton, oh, that's my Everton. I'm looking at Everton right there. I'm reading it. Uh, Newcastle flying high. I still, I'm still gobsmacked that they're second and they're having such a terrific season. But it's not even through luck. It's just the fact that they're playing so well and causing all other teams sorts of problems. And I'm sure the likes of Arsenal and Man City are all wary of them and making sure they're keeping across exactly how they're playing and how they're mm. performing. Because when they do come up against them at some stage, they know they're going to be in for a game. Mm. And this didn't, I, I didn't, it didn't make any of the highlights packages, but I saw a little clip of it on Twitter. Um, Bruno Guimaraes. We all know what a wonderful player is. <laughs> he made a tackle late on in the game, a sliding tackle, and he got up Cass and he celebrated the tackle yeah. to the Newcastle fans like he scored a goal. <laughs> and I just thought I that clip, that, I, I loved love it too. That, yeah. I thought that clip just summed up the spirit that is at Newcastle at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? They're, they're, I mean, I'm going to bring it back to Brentford. I apologise, Newcastle. We have the same there with the defender, Christopher Ayer, which I'm sure Celtic fans will, will know. Um, he does exactly the same. Whenever he has a successful tackle, he's straight up. He's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. fist pumping. Like, and you think he's celebrating like he scored a goal. Yeah. But it's so yeah. important to some of these players, especially like a defender like he is, to make those crunching tackles, to win the ball, mm. to stop the attack. And, and I, why not celebrate mm. them as much as we celebrate goals? It's brilliant. Talk Sport Breakfast. Waking you up. Monday to Friday morning. From 6am on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.